let's move to uh, UFC 264. And we got to talk about the trilogy, man. And this one, you know I am on Dustin Poirier in this one, you know, and I'm unwavering on that. But if you ask me, am I as confident as I was last time in the, the rematch back in January? No, I'm not. I'm not as confident as last time. I feel like... I feel like this is a zigzag, right? The old zigzag. You see that in like a sure. series in like a, a NBA Where do we sit on odds right now on it, Al? It's a pick em now. It's a full-on pick em. Uh, Poirier's best odds plus 102 and McGregor best odds minus 107. So it's straight up pick em. So there's been, yeah. some, per, there's been some pretty s- steady line movement. Poirier has been steamed pretty heavily from like plus 130 down to uh, he was actually a favorite at one point and then some buyback came on him. Um, Yeah. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is, it's, it's that zigzag theory, right? Like I feel like now there was no pressure on McGregor. Basically I, in a sense, there was no pressure on him just because he was coming back. He hadn't fought in so long. He kind of had a built-in excuse. And now I feel like now all the pressure's on on Poirier to finish the, you know, to he's gotten even now, but if he's really the better fighter, he's gotta he's gotta finish he's gotta finish this trilogy with a win. And uh just I don't know. Because if 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 Connor loses this fight. This is this is very damaging to his legacy. This is like if he loses this fight, we're talking, you know, we're that much closer to seeing him in some type of uh, trans sport event with uh, Manny Pacquiao or yeah. somebody like that, you know, totally. like uh, a boxing exhibition or something, right? Totally. And because of that, I feel like you put a a guy with that much skill up against the wall, I feel like, I feel like he's, he's got a lot to prove basically. And, uh, you know, uh, Poirier said, you know, money, money can buy you a lot of things, but it can't buy you heart. Right. And now it's like, and he said, but now I have that and that's fine. But now you also have a lot of money, (laughs) you know? So, and, it's it's the thing where the reason why me uh, the reason that I was so against Connor in the rematch in January was because I was just like it doesn't matter he's coming off his yacht it it just it's he's not going to be he's not going to be the same fighter that we think he is right and um now it's it's flipped where it's just Poirier you know, I, I just see I similar to very similar to how I broke down Figueredo Moreno, where you know I, I I feel like I feel like Poirier wins this fight, but if at some point Connor gets to plus money, you got to start to look at it because I don't know I I don't think as as washed as he's as we've seen him and he didn't really look that bad in the first fight. He had he had good moments, you know. He he looked he he was pretty much up on the scorecards until he lost, I think, or maybe he wasn't up. He lost the first round, but he was winning the second round up until the point that he just he, he just lost, right? But he didn't look terrible. He just he was really heavy on that lead foot, which I think he has to change against Poirier. If Poirier is going to go back to that calf kick game which I think he will, and he'll also go to a even probably more wrestle-heavy game or, uh, you know, go for the takedowns and stuff like that. But, uh, uh, you know, as, as washed as, as that, as the last time we saw him laying on the ground like that, I feel like you can't count him out. You know, this is, this is, he's a high level striker and he's, you know, he's, uh, it, it, you put him in a corner and this is now he's in a corner. He wasn't in a corner the last fight, but now he's he's in a corner. And uh, I, I just I I'm gonna go. I'm going to bet Poirier. But if if you're able to get McGregor at plus money, if this ends up getting to uh, 
McGregor at plus money with the money coming in on Poirier. Oh, it's hard to turn down, man. <laughs> it's hard to turn down. What do you think? Oh, man, Al, this is a fight that literally I just started, like, turning the wheels, like, you know, getting the gears going, really kind of like, kind of like refocusing in on this fight, right? And I got to be honest, man, um, you know, I really didn't have any thoughts about it. Like, I didn't really have any leans coming out of the, you know, the the second fight, you know, the last time they fought. Um, obviously, you know, we we took things away from that fight. We learned things. I think Dustin Poirier probably wins this fight the third time. I really do. I'm I'm I think that you know Conor McGregor he's just not that guy anymore, you know. This is a different version. This is a different this is a this isn't a guy that has a, a unfathomable in and out movement. The guy that could get in, land a death a death shot, and get out of range. You know, the guy that you know watched Jose Aldo come forward, leapt in, and caught him with the shot that you know Aldo had already be. I mean, all you know what I mean? Like Aldo had already begun the motion, and Connor saw it and literally was so quick he could get inside and land the, the touch of death before Aldo's shot could even, you know, finish he could before he could even finish throwing a punch. And I just don't see it anymore, man. I think Connor's lost a step. He doesn't have that quick twitch. He doesn't have that speed. He doesn't have that movement. And that's what made Connor McGregor special was the movement, the in and out, and the speed, the reaction. And yeah. you know, it, he's not an old guy, right? But the difference between a guy in his mid to early 20s who's hungry, wants it, looking to build a legacy, looking to become a millionaire, billionaire, and now he's there. This is a guy who's done it. He's at the top when it yeah. comes to, you know, not 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 the sport anymore. He's obviously not the champ. And I think I don't think there's anyone out there who's sit, who's saying, you know, Conor McGregor's the best thing in the UFC right now, unless you're the most uh, delusional of fanboys, right? But <laughs> I just think that we're not getting that that peak Conor McGregor anymore. And I think when you take away some of those things that made him so special, he becomes a far more average guy. And uh, Dustin Poirier is I'm not I'm not gonna say he's an average guy. You know, obviously he's very athletic, obviously he was born to do this, obviously he was born to fight, but there's nothing overly special about Dustin Poirier. The thing about Dustin Poirier is his determination, his heart his work ethic and his ability yeah. to craft and become an elite fighter with the, uh, you know, the God given uh, abilities he has. Yeah. And I think, you know, Conor McGregor's at that point. And I just think Dustin Poirier, when you, when you take everything into account, is probably just a slightly better fighter as it stands right now. I bet the fight plays out closer. Conor will make adjustments. Um, but I still feel like this is Dustin Poirier's fight to lose now at this point. Um, the ball's kind of in his court. And like I said, I, I think this might come down to who wants it more. And I still feel like Poirier is a guy in a come up situation and McGregor, there's only one, one direction and it's down. And yeah. from a financial standpoint, he's never going to be down. You know, I mean, the guy can live off proper 12 money, uh, indefinitely. He doesn't need to fight anymore, which is another angle, you know, like, uh, maybe Connor really does want it. You know, what is he? Why is he still doing this and attempting to do it at the highest level when he does have all this money and all the success? And I guess it's because he still wants it. He must still love it. He's got the passion. But, um, man, as it stands right now, Al, I lean ever so slightly Dustin Poirier. Yeah, like it, it just it just depends on how he comes out. If he comes out with that, you know, really uh, rudimentary boxing stance where he's heavy on the front foot and just – you know, looking for counters, leaning on that front foot, he's he's going to be toast. But if he comes in with that, you know, that nimble, that uh, fluid McGregor that you know that we saw even against Cowboy, right? He he had that that look against Cowboy with that light on his feet, uh, back and forth. Um, you know, he it it almost seems like he 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 fights down to his opponent's level. 
because we saw he kind of got caught in that type of situation against Nate in their first fight where he just he he doesn't he only fights to the ability that he thinks that he has to to beat his opponent and uh yeah i don't i don't know exactly what it is but yeah i basically i totally agree with you but if anybody is going to pull a rabbit out of their hat i think it's uh it's connor i think that connor uh it's 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 tough to completely count him out and with that being said i'm fully i got poirier already at plus money and uh but yeah i have to say as this as this it's it'll be interesting to see where the line goes because if this ends up getting to the point where uh where connor's at plus money i just feel like uh i don't know i don't know it's it's hard to weigh because then you say is that or is that good value on on poirier who should be probably more favored than he's than he is at the current price but i don't know it's tough it, this is one where i'm gonna have to rewatch that rematch a hundred times basically oh yeah yeah i don't blame you one bit man yeah it's uh i mean it's for all the marbles you know what i mean like it's a very important fight and you're absolutely right Al. i think this is going to really set the tone and the tra- trajectory of uh, the future of Conor McGregor is based on how this fight plays out. Not so much Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier is going to be around. He, he win, win, lose, or draw, Dustin Poirier's got a future in the UFC fighting the highest level guys for years to come. You know, Conor McGregor, you're right, man. Uh, co- considering the growth and the money we're seeing on these guys, just absolute circus fights, why wouldn't Conor McGregor I mean, the guy is literally poised. He could become the king of this angle. You know what I mean? Could pick, get to pick and choose instead of guys under UFC contract, any bum in the world to just get in there and box. You know what I? It's I don't know, man. Uh, but uh, Al, I think you're dead on that. This is a very important fight for for the future of Conor. I, I feel that totally. Yeah, it's uh, it's a tough one, and then. Really quickly, the co-main event for UFC 264 is Gilbert Burns as a plus 115 underdog against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Uh, what do you think about that one? I, I tell you what, I feel pretty strongly about this one. Um, I think Wonderboy wins. Yeah. I honestly think we're looking – honestly, tonight in this main event, this may be – really from a stylistic concept about as close to uh uh, uh what's the, what what's the one look uh it's a stylistic preview for how that fight should play out okay it's either the fight stays standing and wonder boy absolutely has a tremendous advantage over gilbert burns um and gilbert burns how is he going to win this fight he must get wonder boy to the map he needs to use that jiu jitsu and try to find a sub on wonder boy and uh, I really don't see it happening. You know, Wonder Boy, uh, very good takedown defense. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the trick to beating Wonder Boy in every fight. You, you're going to stand and try to kickbox Wonder Boy. It's not going to work out. You know, get get the fight uh, away from his strengths. I really don't like this matchup for Gilbert Burns. Um, what's interesting is I want to say Gilbert Burns opened as a fairly decent favorite. And money just absolutely – this line has just been corrected, just plain and simple. Uh, and I agree fully. And uh, I think Wonder Boy is the Wonder Boy is the look on this one for sure. In my book, you know, uh, the, the, I do I do worry Wonder Boy, man, he's getting up there in age. And one day uh, he did take a decent amount of damage against Jeff Neal um, in that one. But, yeah, I think he's a little too sharp. I think he's got the skills to negate uh, Gilbert Burns strengths. And I think this fight plays out predominantly on the feet and that should be a uh, wonder boys domain. You know, wonder boy, I think really should win this fight. Yeah. And let's not forget, uh, Usman was able to finish Gilbert Burns with a jab. So I feel Correct. like, uh, I mean, a Usman jab at that, but I feel like, uh, Burns might be a little chinny and wonder boy is not the person to be chinny against. Right. And, uh, do you think do you think Wonder Boy can finish him? Absolutely, man. Do you have odds on that yet? No, it's not out. 
Yeah, it's not out yet. Yeah, but I think. Yeah. I mean, I think he's got a shot, man. Wonder Boy is a dangerous guy. He's finished plenty of fights, but is there also the chance Wonder Boy just kind of goes out there, plays it safe, and outpoints him? Yeah, that's yeah, the problem. That's a that's a real possibility too. So 